We're gonna make the cart drive this weekend, hopefully. This is where we're at. You saw in the last video, we got the, uh, the seating pretty much figured out. Here's another shot of the brackets all nicely welded up that Kyle kind of fabbed up. So, um, we are going to try and see if we can get this fucking motor in here this weekend. See if we can make a drive. I've been told from a viewer that the clutch I ordered isn't going to work and that it's always going to be engaging the belt. So there's a possibility that that's correct and that I'll have to get a different clutch. But for the time being, we're going to go ahead and put this thing together as best we can and uh, see if we can't maybe take it for a test grip this weekend. So we got the card up on jack stands and we got the engine over here on the table. And as you can see, we've got the turbo and the fuel tank removed from it. And what we're gonna start doing now is getting ready to mount the engine plate roughly in the cart. So this is the plate we're gonna be using. It's like, uh, I don't know if it's half or three eighths, probably half. <clears throat> this piece of tape here represents the bottom of the seat. So this is the height restriction that we know we have to work within. So what we're gonna do is put the plate on this floor jack and we're gonna jack it up until we have it set roughly in place for where it's gotta be. And then from there we can get it tacked in and we can start doing some test fits on the motor. So change of plans. Um, this was one possibility that we knew was gonna happen was that, so the, the relationship between the axle clutch and the engine clutch is like 10 and a quarter, 10 and a half inches on center. And trying to get this thing butted up against that just isn't gonna work. So we're gonna use a jack shaft chain driven off the engine back to the, the axle clutch. So we gotta go to tractor supply and get some stuff. And then hopefully we can get this thing going this weekend. Otherwise we might have to order some shit and then it won't be till next weekend. So we're mocking up the jack shaft and this is basically, we think, what it's gonna look like when it's done. So this is gonna represent the sprocket on the engine. It's gonna come in and it's gonna drive this sprocket. We're gonna have a support bearing on either end, which we may wind up flipping depending on the way we build it on the chassis of the cart. And then last but not least, we'll have our, uh, our drive clutch as well. And uh, that'll basically be what winds up driving the cart. So got the sprockets welded out. Here's Kyle's. No, oh, they're supposed to gas. He ruined it. He ruined it. And just to prove that I'm capable <coughs> of pig welding, here's mine. Or mine, lefty. And you can see that mine is less consistent than Kyle's by a lot. But I am capable of sticking two pieces of metal together nonetheless. Update time. So. We got the plate tacked in, and now we're working on building the jack shaft. So this uh, flame style pillow block is gonna bolt, like you see it here, to the frame. Uh, the drill bit's just there holding it in place until we can go out and get a longer bolt. <clears throat> what Kyle's working on right now is we're gonna have a piece of angle iron that's gonna bolt into these two holes in the engine, and then we're gonna have another flange style um, pillow block that's gonna bolt on that way. Uh, we've got the decompression lever uh, repositioned so that it no longer sticks up. Instead, now it's going to swing back and forth like this. So we're just going to hook the choke cable to it, and that'll be our uh, starting assist as well as emergency shutoff. That might be the full-time shutoff. I don't know. Uh, we'll figure that out when we come to it. Once we get the shaft in place, uh, we're going to build our chain drive uh, with a tensioner and then put the clutch on and we're gonna see uh, see what happens. We still gotta bolt the motor down so there's still quite a ways to go. As you can see, we got a great big mess going on right now, but we're uh, slowly but surely making progress on it. So it's tomorrow and, uh, oh, nice dude. That's the kind of morning we're having. So it's tomorrow. We made a lot of progress yesterday. I didn't record very much of it because my phone was on 2%. Got our jack shaft in place. We wound up changing our design over here a little bit. Got our spacers, our very legit, totally not sketchy spacers installed. 
um, everything turns pretty good. And uh, so now we're gonna install our chain tensioner, get that all done. And then really all that's left is just rig up some sort of exhaust for the time being. And, uh, and then this thing's ready for a test rip. So we're almost ready for our test fire. Uh, we've got the tensioner tacked in and the adjuster tacked in also. Uh, we've got a exhaust just mocked up on here for the time being. Shout out to James for use of the washer trick, although I didn't get the right size washer, so we kind of had to make do with what we got. So, if you remember, this is the exhaust from the Silver Tractor, the Gen 1 Super Loud Zero Fucks exhaust. So, uh, it felt like it was appropriate for this. So, we're going to clean all the vibratables off, and then we're going to hook up a battery and some diesel, and see what we get. Ladies and gentlemen, we are moments away from the first and likely unsuccessful test fire of the cart. Diesel golf cart start in chassis, attempt number one. Why are you sitting on it? Yeah. In case it runs away, you gotta have somebody to control it. Okay. I got a throttle. Ready? Yep. have experienced a failure of the chain idler. Startup in chassis, take two. Once again, experience a failure of the chain tensioner. Take three. driving, stopping cart. So, what do we got left to do? Well, got to build a new chain tensioner, one that doesn't suck. Got to build a throttle that hooks up to the pedal, because right now we don't have that. Got to get a fuel tank in it, got to mount the battery real proper, got to put the turbo back on it, got to stop the axle from gyrating when we go to engage the uh, 
the drive. We gotta hook up a shifter mechanism for the drive. Got quite a bit to do, but we know that it runs and drives, so that's really good. Got our little transmission rear end brace installed, and it just bolts on to the rear axle, and then it's welded on the frame. Uh, there still is a little bit of play in it. When you rock it back and forth, it'll still move a little bit. We're gonna leave it alone for the time being for research and development, and we'll see how good it holds up, and if it, if it needs to be beefed up, then we'll just make it again, this time with thicker tube. coming down to Sunday afternoon and we're cleaning up because that's what we do on Sunday afternoons. The goal this weekend was to drive the golf cart. We did it. So this is a uh, current status of everything. We got the, the new chain tensioning system that Kyle came up with that works good, didn't break. And right now uh, <clears throat> the issue that we're working with is we got some of the collars on the shaft are spinning, so we just gotta follow the original plan and install the key stock that we got for it. And then I gotta figure out what my plan is for this clutch. Um, one of you guys uh, sent me a message on Facebook saying that this clutch would be too narrow for this belt and cause it to engage at idle. And that is so far the case. Um, we've basically dropped the idle down to about where, uh, right where it wants to stall out and the clutch is pretty tight on the rear end, so I'm going to look and see what some of my clutch options are. Um, as it is right now, you shut the thing off, put it in gear, start it, and off you go. And ideally, we'd like to be able to come to a stop, engine continues to run, shift gears, and off we go. So we got to figure out what the deal is with that. Um, we did get our throttle system working pretty good. So we got a nice heavy 12 valve style return spring and a factory throttle cable and we got a nice low idle and a full top end as well. So, excuse you. So that's all pretty good. Um, I ordered an ignition switch and a fuel pump for it. Got to get a factory fuel tank, move the battery over here, get the turbo in, figure out the clutch. I have to put an alternator on it. Still plenty of stuff to do, but it was a good weekend. We drove it, it runs. You know, it's uh, definitely farther than it was when we started. Kyle, any words? Did we send it? We sent it. Yeah, we did. Kyle's sick, so I'm not gonna make him talk. So, that's all. Thanks for watching. Keep looking forward to the next one. I'm trying to work on this thing every weekend. We've been doing pretty good at that so far. We're five weeks into this project and we have a lifted running driving cart, so can't really complain too much about that.